crops. This is critical for our agricultural input. While I'm grateful these two amendments have been included in the work of many on both sides of the aisle, I want to express some sincerely felt concerns about a ban on hemp products nationwide. I associate myself with those remarks made by the gentleman from Wisconsin, Mr. Van Orden. I've heard from growers in my district. They support a stronger framework that includes more transparency, clear labeling, standards, age restrictions, and my state has been doing great leadership in this. However, this legislation should not be rushed. Underdeveloped policy attached to this legislation without proper consideration puts not only the Farm Bill at risk, but also puts us on a collision course with other departments and agencies. As a dad of six, I certainly share my colleagues' passion for protecting children from accessing dangerous drugs, but this amendment goes too far by eliminating grain and fiber markets and instead protecting children through appropriate reg regulation to drive down the illicit marketplace. Mr. Chairman, the purposeful markup of today's debate is to uh, share a number of ideas to consider the full implications of each policy, and I ask that we take the time to consider this properly as this moves forward to the floor. I appreciate